Hi, good afternoon folks. It's Simon at Vanstone, Worcester. I'm gonna give you a quick video walk around of this 2018 on an 18 plate. It is the Citroen Dispatch 1.6 HDI Enterprise. It is the 1.6 uh, diesel with the six speed manual gearbox with 115 brake horsepower to power it along. Um, obviously, um, all of the 115s come with that six speed gearbox. Now these are all twin side loading doors. This particular van is a two keeper from new vehicle. It has covered 57,000 miles. Uh, it is in good all round condition. Uh, it is a Euro 6 model. So when it comes to the emission zone charges, you're all looking good there. There's no charges to worry about from that point of view. And I think they represent great value for money for what you get as well. So let's start up here with the video probably got a better view of that roof than I have to be quite frank with you I'm not seven foot tall but uh, hopefully you can see no major damage on there coming down to your windscreen the windscreen is in good condition with no major stone chips cracks or anything that's going to cause us any grief when it comes to MOT time coming down to your bonnet the bonnet is in good overall condition they don't particularly chip up or anything these things are in pretty good condition now you are always going to get minor minor bits of wear and tear aren't you i can't physically get the video in to cover everything anything major we show you obviously you will get minor stone chips and stuff but uh, anything major from a cosmetics point of view we do point out to you your front grills and the front end of the vehicle are in good all-round condition your passenger side headlamp unit is in good order as well you can see it's got daytime running lights on it and then your front bumper corner is in good order with no scuffing and if I have a look down the passenger side of the vehicle, it is in good all round condition. Uh, there's nothing really to point out to you from a cosmetic point of view. But we do do it panel by panel, so we will go around. Driver side headlamp unit, that's all in good order. Driver side front bumper corner, again, that's in good order with no scuffing. And again, if we look down the side of the... So we're going to patch this video together. The phone just went off, so uh, I've completely forgotten where I am. But I think we were here. Nothing major to point out to you from a cosmetics point of view down the side of the vehicle. No major dents or dings or anything like that. Your passenger side, not passenger side, we're on driver side front wing. Side repeater is where it should be. Have a look at the alignment of your panels. They are all where they should be. Uh, your driver's side steel wheel is a factory steel wheel. We have refurbished all four steel wheels on these vans. Steel wheels are the absolute bane of my life. Uh, we don't just do a cheap paint job on them. We send them off to the power and just get them refurbed properly. So you've got a nicely refurbed wheel. You have a really good tyre tread depth on that wheel as well. I would suggest about seven millimetres. When we do our PDI, you will get exactly what all your tyre tread depths are. Anything less than 1.6, sorry, anything less than three millimetres we replace, legal limit being 1.6 millimetres. Mirror unit's in good order, as is the mirror on it. Your driver's side door glass, that's in good order as well. And the driver's side door itself, in overall good condition. We've got a little mark on it there. Can you see it? It's a very small little mark. Um, don't know whether the dent man can do anything with it we'll have to have a look and see but uh yeah overall good condition on the door sliding door because obviously this is a twin side loading door van again overall good condition again god if we're being really fussy is there something going not really i don't know maybe just a little bit there but let's have a look at the overview of the van as you can see overview of the van it's straight and tidy, isn't it? Getting down low, let's have a look at your sills. The sills are in good condition with no major damage on them. Your protective strips going down the side of the vehicle again are in good condition with no damage on them. Your upper rear quarter on the back here in good order with no damage on it. The lower quarter here again in good order with no major damage on it. Again, we have a nice freshly refurbished steel wheel. Again, the tyre on that is really good tyre tread depth. So again, I would say upwards of seven millimeters. And then just looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, hopefully you can see it's in really good overall condition. Your rear light unit this side is in good order. Your driver's side rear bumper corner is in good order with no scuffing. We have 
Um, the door hinges on these things are, uh, again, another bane of my life. So because they stick out slightly, you do get a little bit of corrosion on them. This one's not too bad. This one is a little bit more corroded. It's just how they are after, yeah, I mean, you see it's a 2018 van. Yeah, we see it on the 2017s as well. Um, it's, uh, it is a manufacturing issue. Um, looking at your rear doors, rear doors are in overall good condition as well. Look at the alignment of them, they're all good. Your high level brake light is present and correct. Your rear door handle and lock is all good. Your door edges, as I bring the phone down, you'll see that good overall condition. Couple of minor touch-ins, but nothing major. Opening up the doors, having a look inside the vehicle. So your rear bumper has factory parking sensors in it and the rear bumper itself is in good overall condition. Coming into the rear of the vehicle, factory bulkhead. Uh, we do have a missing uh, flap here on the bulkhead um, and we have a little bit of a dent in the bulkhead there. It isn't anything major, but there are marks there. Back of the vehicle is ply lined, as you can see. And in overall, oh, you've got some little free hooks there, look. Overall, not in bad condition. Ply lining has done a job. Rear doors at the back, not in bad order. Again, they're ply lined. Minor, minor sort of dent marks on them, but nothing major. So overall, not in bad condition. It's done a job, but it's plenty of life left in that. Looking down the passenger side of the vehicle from this angle, again, nothing major to point out to you. Passenger side headlamp unit, that's all in, sorry, passenger side rear light unit, that's all in good order. Door hinge there, not too bad. The lower one there has a little bit of corrosion on it. And then having a look at your bumper corner again, no scuffing on it, all looking good. Your upper quarter this side, good order overall, and your lower quarter this side in good order overall. Obviously we have your floor fuel flap here, which is lockable with the key. We have another refurbished steel wheel this side, uh, tire on this side, again, loads of tire tread depth, as you can see, probably another excess of seven millimeters. Sliding door this side, all looking good passenger door this side again clean and tidy passenger door glass all good door locks this side handle and locking all looking good all of your doors are lined up nicely as you would expect your mirror unit again good and then your passenger side front wing again on the whole pretty good and your passenger side front steel wheel another freshly refurbished item Again, with another recent tire, I would suggest. So in excess of seven millimeters, I would have thought. Uh, your door seals, I'm oh, sorry, your source door seals, your van seals this side, those are in good order. Sliding door this side opens up nicely and slides back as you would expect. We'll just give you another viewpoint of the vehicle from this angle. Nicely ply lined out. And then entry seals and plastics, as you can see, in nice condition. Your door shuts are nice and clean. Passenger door this side. Again, good overall condition on your door card. A couple of minor little marks here, nothing major. Inside your door pockets, they're nice and clean. Door shuts again are nice and clean and tidy. Your entry seals and your paint, uh, your plastic entry step there is in good order we have your ad blue filler here your flooring inside the van as you can see is in overall good condition bonnet release is there we'll show you under there in a second dashboard fascia we have a glove box in there as well and then top of your dashboard all good as you can tell i've got the vehicle running with the aircon going it's an incredibly hot day so i'm just trying to keep things a little bit cool Hopefully you can see your seating trim is in nice, tidy condition. Ah, we have a little bit of a split there, so we'll have to get that bit into the trimmers, okay, and get that repaired. We have a little armresty thing going on there. We have more storage under there. Um, 
and then as we or you may or may not know grab this blue pull cord down here and pull it towards you that releases your seat and then that gives you your additional load length into your passenger can your passenger compartment right underneath your bonnet I should have turned the engine off really but as I said I'm trying to keep the aircon going um, all looking clean and tidy underneath the bonnet all as you would expect all is there as it should be it's the correct colour and there's no contamination in it we have all dipstick here we have all the filler here we have fuse box and battery here and we have the street washer over here as well as you can see engine's pretty clean and tidy under there isn't it and then driver's side door driver's side door card in good overall condition inside your door cards are clean and tidy your door shuts again looking nice as are your painted sills and entry plastic steps flooring on the driver's side again not in bad condition it's a little bit dusty from where we've got in and out with our work boots pedal rubbers are as they should be your driver's side seat base clean and tidy getting into the vehicle so we have the service light on so we'll get that looked at before it goes out as you can see 57,976 miles top of the dashboard all looking good Hello, fans as you can hear working nicely your, your vents are where they should be and in good order the aircon is coming out nice and cold great touch screen thing so we have Bluetooth search Apple CarPlay Mirrorlink and Android Auto you need to plug into the USB power here with your telephone lead in order for all of those to work we have the all-important air conditioning with heated mirrors uh, hazard warning lights electronic stability program rear locking for the van and locking for the whole van and another 12 volt power there as well this nice uh, touch screen unit here gives you various options for the vehicle that you can change around with as well. Uh, we have DAB, FM and AM. We have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Um, again, more settings that you can play around with on it. And obviously, if you plug your lead into it, using the uh, using your telephone lead, it'll mirror your sat-nav off your telephone. So apart from service lights, all looking good there. It's been ticking away nicely. Coolant is where it should be horns on your steering wheel a little bit of wear on the steering wheel nothing major but there is a little bit of wear on there worst case scenario get yourself a steering wheel cover from Halfords but a little bit of wear on there electric windows electric mirrors headlamp levelers uh, internal alarm sensor off button six speed manual gearbox reverse gear all the way to the left and forward Silly little things like in between your seats, have a look, they're clean and tidy with no old doors down there or anything along those lines. We do clean and prep these vehicles properly. Now, there are 60 to 70 photos of this vehicle on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to call us on 01905 672080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, I guess most importantly on Google. Uh, we have reviews on our own website. We have reviews on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on LinkedIn. Um, yeah, check us out. Um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Or not surprised or, you know, whatever. But our reviews are on there. They're all looking pretty good. Um, so there we go, uh, as I say, warts and all on the video, um, there's a little ding in the rear door I've just noticed, a little ding just here, so that needs a little dent man to have a look at it, but overall I would say it's pretty good condition isn't it, hopefully you've picked up that from the video, pretty good condition as I say, we prep them properly, we've had all the steel wheels refurbished because manufacturers make them out of chocolate nowadays, they rust very easily, the steel wheels do. Um, and tyres are all looking good. We will service it before it goes out. We do a 110 point PDI check. We do a, an electronic health check. So we link it up to the diagnostics. Just make sure there's nothing hidden in the background that's going to cause either of us any grief. 
if you have any questions feel free to give us a call thanks very much i know i've pushed it on a little bit with this video but hopefully it gives you a good idea of exactly what it is that you're buying cheers